sort of advice could you give to others who are struggling? Um, what advice could you give them to stay grounded uh, with the Lord and have that tight relationship where um, he is your strength and he will get you past these obstacles? Um, well, for me, I think it's definitely because I struggled with my faith a lot. And um, there was a, I'll just like be like completely open um, with you and your viewers. But um, I had a point in my life where I completely like didn't go to church. And like I like mm -hmm. was because I was, you know, so busy with things and struggling with things. I guess like that's not even a good enough excuse. But that's like that's what kind of like led me away but recently when when you're alone um some people like only call on god when things are going good in their life you know like like if something right. good happens to them or if what they prayed for came true they're like oh thank you god but when it suddenly becomes hard that's when they're like wait like i, I know, is there a god like i've heard so many things like that but for me it's like when I when I'm alone, I still am. Like when I was alone until now, and in the future, like I have anxiety. So whenever I'm getting all these bad thoughts, or whenever I feel anxious, like the that's how I realize that God is so good. Um, not only does He give you the things that you pray for, not only does He give you blessings and gifts, but He also gives you so much strength in those moments where you feel like. You're literally like, like it's the end of the world. And like for people who have anxiety, like I'm sure you guys have felt that before, like mm -hmm. especially when you're alone and you don't have anyone physical like next to you, like you're, you kind of feel like is like, is this it? Like you feel this like sense of like hopelessness randomly because that's how hard it hits you, especially when you're alone. But I remember my last like anxiety like episode was maybe like on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I was feeling super alone that night, but I got through it because I prayed so hard to God. I literally yeah. was just like on, I literally got on my knees because I was like, I like, I couldn't breathe. You guys, you wow. get like people with anxiety, like you guys know like how hard it is to get through a panic attack alone. So I was like, I couldn't breathe. But I was like, you know what, God, like this is all in my head. So fill me with your grace. And then like in that moment when I like said like, God, help me I need you right now like I was crying already and then like literally like I could breathe oh I am gonna start crying talking about it because I, I literally felt God so much just literally like every day but the most like on Tuesday and it, it was crazy but yeah it's like it, it always is God and I like a year ago I admit like I would have never ever talked about my faith in this way ever like I would be the one that's like I don't know how to cope. I don't know how to cope. And it's like, but no, it's like when once you have God's grace in your body, once you have him in your heart and in your mind, you'll you'll feel it. You'll feel like that sense of peace that he gives you. And since then, I haven't had a panic attack because every night I'm like, I know that God is literally next to me. And in case I have an attack again or in case I overthink again, God will be there to hug me to put his arm around me mm -hmm. and so yeah just a story <laughs> that went deep right away <laughs> no that is, that's beautiful um the story you shared and that's really what you know I, the type of um things i believe and hope and pray that people can hear mm -hmm. uh especially with you know thank you again for guesting on the show and being a witness course, and sharing your yeah. testimony day to day um how people struggling can uh, cope and manage uh, with these anxiety attacks. Uh, and you mentioned prayer right off the bat. And I believe mm -hmm. prayer is a, a spiritual weapon that you have against the enemy. And it's something that when you pray with God and he gives you that encouragement and that relationship, you feel like he's with you, that puts you back on your feet. And that's yeah, the relationship 100%. with the Lord. Yeah. That will get you through it. And uh, me personally, um, like recently, I, I noticed I had a more, um, you know, spiritual warfare attacks when it comes to nightmares. And um, I would wake up in the middle of the night all thrown off, like, what the heck was that? And yeah. I would pull out my Bible, pull out your Bible. Just for me personally, opening up the Bible anywhere in the Bible 
um, just reading, reading that kind of sets me back in like a, a comfort level where I know that uh, these words, what I'm reading is God's words. This is the word of God. And this is stronger than any demon, any evil out there. Mm-hmm. So ready yeah. I'm immersing myself with God's word. And he can speak to me through his word and tell me things that I need to know to uh, not only just read it, but to feel like God is with me. And then yeah. um, I'll open up in prayer and um, yeah, and just start praying like, Lord, you are my strength. God, I bind and cast out any evil within me, Lord. I pray for the blood of Jesus to yes. cover me, you are my protection. And in those prayers is what will he will get you through whatever you're facing because he is great. Yeah, definitely. So I love that you of mentioned course. prayer. That, yeah, thank you for sharing that. That's, yeah, like I, like um, just a quick thing is I actually used to have nightmares too, like sleep paralysis. I don't know if anybody has ever experienced yeah, sleep yeah, paralysis. It's, yeah. it's so scary. But I remember I stopped mm-hmm. having mm-hmm. sleep paralysis when I, whenever I would feel like, a bad presence or whenever I would feel heaviness Mm -hmm. or even in my dreams like if I would see like a dark figure I remember automatically I would like pray and then it would all like turn back to normal again it's it sounds you know it sounds like like not believable right but it's like it's true it happened Mm -hmm. to me that prayer is really um your weapon your spiritual weapon against evil 100% amen yeah amen yeah fight through that Spiritual paralysis uh, that's, yep. <laughs> doesn't have power over you. For me, it's the, yep. the word of God that I open right away. <laughs> um, but, okay, so Amanda, thank you for um, talking with me about that. And I can see in the comments with the audience that um, a lot of people also experience sleep yeah. paralysis and those things. And then May Santos mentions here, that's why we should pray before we sleep. That's good. That's a good point. That's good. Um, 100 percent pray that god do your devotionals guys (laughs) yeah amen amen devotionals before k drama everybody (laughs) 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 hallelujah (laughs) Hallelujah. just just praying just praying that you know god will put the angels around you to protect you in your sleep and protect your dreams yeah Mm -hmm. your dreams definitely goes a long way Hey, Amanda, mm-hmm. I'm sure everyone here is excited to hear you uh, perform for us. Could you please tell us uh, about this first song that you have chosen? Yeah, so um, for those of you guys who don't know, I was born and raised in California. And um, the high school that I attended was a Catholic high school. So I actually was born and raised Catholic. Mm-hmm. Nothing against it. I'm more like Christian now where I like to, you know, pray on my own and stuff. But um, mm-hmm. so yeah, I went to a very Catholic christian high school where um you know we did a lot of worship songs we did a lot of semi-worship songs where it could be interpreted in that way and i think that um this song is perfect i sang this in my junior year of high school um i think it's perfect because it's not necessarily like a typical like hill song united song but if you hear it it has two meanings i just want to share it because it's it's called never alone um, I don't know if you guys know it, but um, it basically, like, it switches between um, God speaking to you and, like, you coming up into heaven. So it's like, no matter what, like, I am with you. But it's also about how, like, no matter what your time is here on earth, like, there will be God opening his arms for you in heaven. And why I really wow. love this song yeah. is... Um, just just um, a ra- random backstory is last, I actually lost one of my very good friends when I was 11. And he passed away when he was 11. And um, just last night, he spoke to me in my dream. And he literally was like, I'm so proud of you for everything that you've done. Wow. Um, and the song that was actually playing in my dream was this. So I thought that it would be nice to, um, you know, sing it for you guys because my friend right now is... I believe, um, with God in heaven. And he has been for eight years since, yeah, I was 11. Yeah, eight years ago. So here we go. This is Never Alone. So here we go.
<laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. You, you are never alone. Love it. I love that song. Wow, thank you for the chocolate hills, Kuya J. <laughs> Maraming salamat for the chocolate hills. Yeah, before two chocolate hills. Wow, thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> wow, thank you. That was an awesome, beautiful, <laughs> that was an awesome, beautiful performance, Amanda. And as you're singing the song, I have one scripture prepared. The, uh, thank you for the chocolate hills again. I just thank you. Uh, but the scripture the scripture that I had prepared is in Isaiah 41.10. And it, I believe it goes right in hand in hand with uh, the song you're singing. It goes, so do not fear, for I am with you. Uh, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Eva, That's literally right song, I am with perfect you. with the song. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hang I, I Isaiah think 4110. I love that. Wow, that's like, that's literally, guys, can you feel God right now in this like room? Like Amen. Hawaii to Philippines Hallelujah. right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Do you have uh, any other favorite scriptures that you go to uh, for strength? Um. Honestly, so like I told you that um, I recently just got back into my faith, which is, you know, the best thing yeah. that's happened to me, like maybe just a year mm -hmm. ago. And so, you know, I, I, I admit I got to read the Bible a lot more, but um, I really like, you know, the typical John 3.16. Like, yeah, I really love yeah, John 3.16. Um, and then there, there was one that you read on your stream that truly changed my life and i forgot which one it was oh. but um i think about it all the time that jesus is the lamb of god like god literally brought down his only son and like mm -hmm. jesus and god like they looked at us like us sinners us people and jesus decided that we were worthy enough of him getting crucified B that yeah. because that's how much he loves us and so it's like if i don't know a love more powerful than that so that's just truly amazing yeah he he they didn't take his life jesus gave gave uh, his, his life, life for life us because, yeah for us because he loved us that much um, yeah we are very undeserving but just jesus's love overflows and it's his grace by his grace through our faith that we're saved, not by good works alone, right? Exactly. So it's by God's grace. Um, that's why in my prayers, I like to say, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Yeah. Uh, we're so deserving, God. Thank you. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah because when good. you think about it, like, every single thing that we're scared of, every single thing that we're stressed about is literally just like an increment because like, all of us were so small compared to God's love in God's grace. So whatever problem we may have, like whatever God has for us, like that's so much bigger than like what we are worrying about because we may be worrying about it. We're not, not invalidating because we're, obviously we have the right to worry about anything we want. But you know, it's like when we turn to God while we worry or after we worry, that's when right, we feel right. like it's, it's free. It's like, Lord, it's up to you. Like, I may yeah. be like overthinking because you know we're human, but in the end, like it's it's really God's plan over ours. So yeah. Amen. Yeah, it's in those times when you catch yourself worrying, and uh, when you pray and put it in God's hands, that's when He gives you peace and reassurance. Exactly. In those times. Yeah. I, sure. I, me uh, personally, I would before I you know had that spiritual wake in my life and chose to you know really. Uh, put God first and try to understand who God was and open up the Bible before all that. Um, I noticed and caught myself many times overthinking, worrying, um, like beyond to the points where you yes. even, yeah, there's you feel like yeah. anxiety, uh, things where you're just like, um, knocked to your feet on the ground, like, what the heck is going on with my life, you know? Yeah, and and like, obviously, like, times, it is normal to have those feelings. Yeah. But when you have mm -hmm. God, 
it completely like gives you that sorry for interrupting but yeah that piece no, it's totally fine i love it no, you're definitely <laughs> right and uh it's what helped me with that so much is literally uh just understanding um who god is or trying to understand who mm -hmm. god is continually and uh, the word of god is mm -hmm. a big one for me because there's so much truth and foundation in each scripture um, that is basically your defense against lies, against any attacks the devil's going to throw at you. There's a scripture that uh, will keep you grounded. It's like your shield yeah. of faith is the word of God, or your spiritual sword is the word of God, but your shield from the attacks is your faith. And those are like your body armor of God. So it really, really helped me so much uh, when I was overthinking about everything. <laughs> Or yeah, like for sure. You know. Yeah, one hundred percent. You mentioned earlier that you got some new things coming out. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Oh yeah! <laughs> wow, wait. I literally was like feeling so much of God's presence that I, you know, you know that like peace and calm oh, okay. that like you forget. Like, wait, I have a life to like look back on. <laughs> but um, <laughs> oh, yeah. so yeah, like. <laughs> I literally forgot. All I could think about was God's love. That's fine. That's yeah, okay. Chase, That's totally fine. Chase said it's it's the shirt. So um yeah, so I'd like to share with everyone if you if you follow me on social media, um I do have an EP coming out. It's all the songs have been written by me. So like it's um old songs that have been reimagined, new songs, collabs, like all in one. And it's um it's called Bloom because mm -hmm. um if you hear, if you listen to the songs I wrote when I was 16 and the last song I wrote now. Wow. So um, if you listen to it, it's like...